Watch this video with me. Did this woodpecker just disprove evolution? Yikes. Let's go ahead and play this. So he grabs a hold of that tree, fans out his tail feathers, and then bangs his head into the tree. Now you would think that a wood... I just want to pause this real quick. This guy, is he thinks that this woodpecker disproves evolution. Uh, the guy who's showcased in this video is one of those hardcore, hardcore, like, Bible people who don't believe in Woodpecker would evolution. go home every night and say to Mrs. Woodpecker, Oh, I got this headache. I was banging my head on a tree all day. But he doesn't. Why? Well, because God made him with special equipment. For instance, between his beak and his skull, there's a piece of cartilage. It acts as a shock absorber. His skull is, is the thickest bone per body weight of any creature. As a matter of fact, brain surgeons study the brains of woodpeckers, how they're hooked in there and everything to help them with like trauma people in accidents that they need to put their brains back in there. And, uh, and so they study wood. So in summary, the, real quickly, I mean, there's still more to this clip, but he's saying that woodpeckers are designed, specifically their brains and their skulls are designed to withstand pecking into wood. Peckers, the woodpecker, with his strong skull and his shock absorber and his strong beak and his tail feathers and his feet, he's all ready to go except for one thing. Once he drills his hole, he's got to get that bug out of the tree because that's lunch. All right, well, how's he going to do that? Well, most birds, their tongue goes right to the tip of the beak. A woodpecker's tongue goes as much as 10 inches out of his beak. Now, why? Well, because he's going to drill the hole, find the bug tunnel down in the tree, stick his tongue down in the tunnel and drag the bug out. Now you'd have to say, could I stick my tongue down a hole in a tree and drag a bug out? Of course not. Why? Of course you can't because you were not designed to do such. You, we did not adapt and evolve to peck our head into a tree and suck bugs out like this species of bird. How does the woodpecker do that? Well, God made the woodpecker with little barbs on the tip of his tongue. And he will literally stab that bug larva down in there because it doesn't want to come out. But in case that's not enough, he has a little glue factory in his tongue that manufactures exactly, precisely the right glue to stick to the bug, but it doesn't stick to his beak. And so he pulls that bug into his mouth. Now we have a problem, if evolution is true. Let's say over hundreds of thousands of years, this woodpecker got all this equipment and then he glues his tongue to a bug and he swallows the bug. What just happened to his tongue? He just swallowed his tongue. You know, he dies, he just... The dude just explained how evolution works and adaptations work because if a woodpecker was to choke itself to death because it does not have the proper non-stick glue on his tongue, that woodpecker would not reproduce to create more woodpeckers with that type of glue that would kill it. It would then... The ones that are able to have longer tongues to reach the bugs will reproduce, and their tongues will reproduce and get longer and longer. Mm -hmm. Is that not right? Strangle himself, okay, but he doesn't. Why? Well, because as he brings the bug into his mouth, he has another little factory that manufactures the solvent to dissolve the glue. Mm -hmm. So he dissolves the glue, loosens up the bug, swallows the bug. God made him that way. <laughs> God didn't make him that way. I don't God. even understand what that guy was saying about evolution. <laughs> what he's saying is, because the problem is with these people, I, I think they, they no, can't... No, no, describe, why, why is he saying that, like, what, that didn't even make sense? Because something is, a creature is so advanced in all these technicalities to keep them to do a specific purpose to then survive, um, he's, he cannot fathom the idea that an animal could evolutionarily adaptively get those traits through hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years of evolution. He, I guess he can't fathom that. He just thinks, well, God just put a woodpecker there and that's it. I mean, no, that's you ridiculous. Know, like, you can tra I'm sure you can trace that's that ridiculous back. because if you really think about humans, we have things in us that actually has been, <laughs> don't, we don't even use anymore. Yeah, yeah, like we have for, organs we don't use. Yeah. Like, you know, the, like the tailbone, all that, like, oh, there's a lot of stuff, actually. We have a lot of things that we don't even use anymore. Now, I don't know why creationists, that, that guy would, I think, be a creationist. You know, God just put everything there. I don't get why they can't just be like, God created evolution. God created the ability to adapt. I don't know why that's such a difficult... Well, we would all be dead, is what I'm saying, if we weren't able to adapt and evolve. 
exactly, Gila. The world just be, is always changing. We would be dead. We all would, we would not be here. not adapt to survive. I yeah. Mean, even if you look at people from a few hundred years ago, we were all shorter. Yeah, yeah. We were, and we all died earlier. We died earlier. And now we've gotten taller because mm -hmm. we've eaten different foods. I mean, they even predict that over time our eyes are going to get bigger. Our skin's going to get paler because as we enter into this oh, computer yeah, they, age. And they said like even with like the color of our skin and the way we look, like over time because everyone now is... Uh, Intermingling. Yeah, yeah. Like the way we look is going to be mm -hmm. different. And I, I just think that video is funny because he, he went and he just explained the complexities of life <laughs> and creatures and animals. And he, he basically proved the theory of evolution to be true because of all those specificness. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm using the right words. I'm kind of just mind boggled that something so simple is taken in such a different context Yeah. to achieve whatever their agenda and their belief is. Well, I mean, I hate to be like judgy by the way people look, but like I wouldn't just by the way he looks, I wouldn't. Both of them? No, just the, the um, old guy. No, the young guy. The young guy. He looks like one of those, like, born-again That's really Christian That's guys. really judgy of me, right? Yeah. Well, and here's another thing is, too, you can even take... I'm just taking a hypothetical here because I, I just... Using some of my intuition, I bet you you can go and find woodpeckers that have developed on different islands or different mm -hmm. continents, and you can probably find woodpeckers with maybe different beak sizes, maybe with different... Um, attributes that are different amongst other species of woodpeckers that are based on the environment in which they live maybe based on different bugs that they eat or based on different wood that they need to peck into mm -hmm. yeah. wouldn't that be proof of some sort of evolution the fact that there can be the same species all developed differently based on where they live yeah so i ain't no scientist me neither <laughs> <laughs>